Hey, welcome back to the internet. It's been a while. I've been out, doing things, working, you know, for a living, as the song goes, working for a living. Got a whole mess of these Bosch 12 volt uh, tools, and I honestly love this little thing. Love the drills. This is eh. But what I'm lacking is some real horsepower that's cordless, and I'm cheap. So, with that in mind, enter this. This is an old uh, DeWalt 24 volt nickel cadmium battery. Uh, what is this? Six and a half. What we have here is the, an old DeWalt 24 volt nickel cadmium cordless saw. Six and a half inch blade. And I like it. It's got this nice uh, metal cast piece here. Seems pretty rigid. The rest of it's like, eh, you know. Anyway, got it for 25 bucks off of. Uh, the usual places uh, used from a guy and the battery pack was bad came with a charger but it's nickel cadmium uh, a brand new batteries in the two hundred dollar range and to replace the internal guts of this thing is like you know seventy bucks so I thought let's not do that so I've been holding on to this thing for a while I tried reviving the battery pack all that good stuff nothing nothing really worked but then this happened work threw this out uh, just the brushes were off intermittent fault but now she works just fine I didn't have a battery pack enter the wife look what she got me I must be doing something right as a husband with two batteries three amp hours oh yeah I think to myself excellent and this was planned now drill free drill excellent two batteries oh, this is all great and then I got to remembering hey I have this down in the basement and it doesn't work and I need to build a patio this summer in the backyard. Maybe, maybe something could happen here. So I'm thinking 18 volts and 24 volts. That's pretty close. That might be underpowered. You know, just do this. This will work. Or, okay, this might not work. But we can make it work. This, we will bring this couple together with a little bit of relationship therapy. What we're going to do first is, one, check and see if this powers this. And we're going to do it real ad hoc, um, real quick and dirty. I want to see if it'll cut through a 2x4. If that works uh, with our ad hoc setup, I think we'll go ahead and make ourselves uh, a nice little adapter here. And that way we can charge it with the regular charger and slide it into the adapter and power this with this in the future. I think this is going to win. I, for those of you who are already in the comments down below, uh, cursing me for joining these two together, or what Josh has brought together, let no man take apart. Uh, but for the so really, it's just these two we need to like focus on. So with that in mind, we've got a positive and a negative. So we'll get some pieces of thin um, sheet stock, shove it in there, alligator clips, shove it in there, and then. Uh, We'll just kind of cut a two by four, hopefully. So we have some really thin sheet stock that should, yep, fit in there. Excellent. All right. Positive and negative. 20.42 volts. What, what could possibly go wrong in this situation? Those are live, Josh. Don't, don't lick them. We're going to need this. There we go. And okay. Red on red, black on black. Let's see if we can just plug that in. There we go. We have the equivalent of an extension cord at the moment from a battery. Test one, full cut. Cord isn't too warm. All right, let's try one more time. pretty good. I mean, she's bogging a bit, but frankly, I could probably 
uh, sharpen that up. This is the blade that came with it, which means given <laughs> given the rubbing I'm seeing here and the lack of text means it's probably been it's probably pretty dull. So I bet if we sharpen that up, we can do a little better. What are we at? 20.21. All right, so didn't really kill the battery too much. Yeah, I, this is totally going to work. Twenty point one nine, twenty point two. All right, so it slowly came back up. So that dropped down to like twenty point uh, zero nine volts, and then came back up to twenty point two after less than a minute. So we probably are stressing this thing awfully, quite a bit. But for little chops in the backyard, I think this is going to be perfect. This is totally going to work. We just need to make an adapter that will fit this battery into here. We got two options. We can 3D print, or we can CNC mill. I'll probably 3D print it to get the, the 3D model correct and make sure everything's working, and then I'll probably end up doing one on the CNC mill, as that's going to be a little more robust. Enter the montage. Bum, 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 bum. Behold, the Franken case. We're close. I mean, some of our details aren't exactly accurate. We're a little off there. We're also a little off here on this detent. Um, just a hair too far back on this side, I think. I'm guessing my part is a little warped. I got a big gap right there. Uh, unless I put a lot of pressure on this, it doesn't really seal up. Um, we'll need to put a hole here. We'll need to reduce the thickness of this part here. Uh, it's interfering. I had to whittle out quite a bit to get it to work. Also, um, there's a ledge here that we didn't account for originally. But other than that, it's pretty darn close to fitting. So I think with this part uh, in the shape that it's in, We'll just need to get a Milwaukee battery, see how she fits in here, if it's close enough. And then I think what we'll do is we'll put this on the CNC uh, in a block of wood. We'll start with pine and uh, mill out all of these features first, flip it around, and then mill out all of this. Well, there we are. This is We'll make this uh, part one of two, maybe three. Um, hope you stick around. If you like it, leave a like, leave a comment. All right, thanks for watching.